Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to Miss Reads. And today we are talking about true crime. The true crime book that we are talking about today is In Contempt by Christopher Darden. Christopher Darden was a co-prosecutor in the O.J. Simpson case. I originally read Marsha Clark's book without a doubt and I thought Marsha Clark is a fantastic writer. She now makes a living writing um, crime fiction novels so I feel like that's a really good calling for her. I've always wanted to read like more from different perspectives about this case uh, just because I find I just find it really interesting because it is around the time when um, reality TV and popular media became like so commonly consumed um, and this was a big factor to that so I really wanted to see um, Christopher Darden's perspective on this book and I've been trying to find it for a while and Christian actually found this book for me at a goodwill for like two dollars so that was awesome this book starts with the ending of the OJ Simpson trial which I love I love that it kind of like brings you right to the very end to what people waited so long to find out about and then it takes you back through the story um, and we do we not only get to see the um, Simpson trial from Darden's perspective but we are also introduced to his past and what made him become a lawyer and the fallout after the case as well so Darden he has a lot to say about how Ray split was involved in the case and Johnny Cochran who was one of OJ Simpson's lawyers and how he kind of just used that as the main defense of the case and it was very interesting to see because Christopher Darden was like attacked for being on the prosecution side of things because he's a black man who was prosecuting OJ Simpson and OJ Simpson's main defense was that the LAPD had framed him because of his race so it was not it was interesting to see Darden's perspective and all that and to see how he got painted as an uncle as an uncle Tom type figure when in reality he was just like no I'm just doing my job like the evidence is there this is my job that I'm doing I also liked how Darden talked about his past because I guess Darden growing up was a bit of a criminal like he shoplifted a lot and he would do a lot of things that he should have been arrested for but just never got caught for so I thought that was kind of interesting that he ended up getting away with it and ended up going into the law profession I did didn't really have any problems with this book I think it was good it was an interesting story but I do feel like because it is one that so many of us know um, and then there has been so many books and TV shows and movies and just general information released about the OJ Simpson trial that a lot of it does sound very familiar like there wasn't really anything new beyond the personal stuff that I found out about Christopher Darden there wasn't anything new really that I learned about the case so much um, or like anything that I that happened behind the scenes that I wasn't aware of but overall I really did enjoy this book I think that it's a good book if you're interested in the Simpson trial or if you are looking for a starting point for beginning the true crime for getting into true crime I think this is a good book to kind of start off with because it is about such a well-known case and one that is still being discussed to this day overall that is my opinion on In Contempt by Christopher Darden written with Jess Walter I would love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below so if you have read this book then please let me know let me know what you thought of it do you think that it's a book that you would recommend to a friend or do you think that it's a book about a topic that's a little bit overdone and oversaturated in the common media I've heard both sides I would love to know your opinion let me know in the comments down below if you have not yet recommended a true crime book for me please do so I pick a true crime book to read and review every Thursday um, so you have a chance for yours to be the one that I pick and also I'm looking for a bunch of new true crime books so any recommendations you have I would definitely appreciate. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated to what true crime book I picked to talk about this week. Um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Or follow me on Facebook if Facebook is the social media outlet of your choice. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash frumiusreads and you can find me and all the things I post about there. As for now, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.